in today's video, we are taking the scraps that were left over from my June Just Junk Journal Challenge, and we are making a snippet, a 14 inch or more snippet for the July Just Junk Journal Challenge. And then we have a flip through of my first finished journal for July. We took this journal off the shelf and put it into the shop. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to day one of our countdown to the finish July Just Junk Journal Challenge. We are going to start with our at least 14 inches of snippet and I'm going to be doing this whole ribbon. Remember, each of our items has to have a junk base. So I have this ribbon. It says Comfort Bay on it and it was actually the ribbon that was wrapped around some washcloths. I have some of the items that are left from my June journal. The June journal is finished. Um, but I had this as its um, tie, its closure, and I thought a snippet would be better. And so we are going to add a snippet because it's going to be better. <laughs> okay, so um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do what I similar to what I saw um, Jessica from Paper Terrace do. I think on these ones I want to use my pinking shears. So she did a closure where she used strips. I can't remember what it was. I, you guys, I didn't have the sound up. I was doing it while I was doing something else and Tom was in the house and he doesn't, he doesn't like to hear other people. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of add this and this is going to be <coughs> I saw an idea and I'm gonna run with it so she had something underneath it, um, it, it I don't know what it was it might have been seam binding or something um, if you saw it please put it in the comments tell us what what she used um, but I, I don't know so so this is like I said it's gonna be different it's gonna be long and more skinny than what we're used to. So I want some of that. I know I also want some of the lace and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this, okay? Cause I don't need, I don't need the lace. I want the flat part, okay? So this was actually lace that I was using for that, for the June Just Junk Journal Challenge. So there's that and we can do some yellow okay and then I have the shirt I do still have that other piece of the shirt you guys <laughs> we may not finish with the shirt but I I think I can probably use it maybe in um, something for 4th of July <laughs> It's like the shirt that never ends. It's kind of like the song that never ends. I have the shirt that never ends. And I think I want this to cover the Comfort Bay words. So I have done a snippet before as my, um, my closure. It was on the, the bird journal. I just went looking for the bird journals flip through and there isn't a bird journal flip through. So um, watch for that. Um, I'm going to go through and see if maybe I didn't actually finish it. Maybe it needs to be one of my, I've got the, the strings I'm saving here too. Um, see if maybe it needs to be one of my July journals that I'm going to finish. Today at the end of the video, I do have a flip through of my April journal. I finished it yesterday during the Patreon uh, Q&A craft with me. Um, 
So that was productive. It was fun, I think. I think everybody had a good time. And so that is for Patreons Ruby and above. We do that each month. I added the craft with me. It's usually it's just a usually just a Q&A. So um, sometimes it might still be that because like one time I did it on a day where I was in town and I pulled over under a tree and we, we Q&A'd while I was out and about. So, um, you know, that's still a possibility of how it can be done, but it was, it was sure fun to be crafting and having, <laughs> having people hang out. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so I'm just cutting my pieces into a variety of shapes and sizes. Let's go ahead and we'll grab some more of these. It is bigger than what I was going to do, but that's okay, you know? Okay. So basically it's double, double that. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking to hang off. Uh, I don't have a piece big enough, two pieces big enough that this could hang off the edge, but I can do it a little bit. So let's go ahead and I can always cut it if I don't like the way it looks. Right? Right. Okay, so there and there. Okay, I am going to use the fabric tack um, lightly. I'm trying to, I don't know yet if I'm going to sew it on the sewing machine. Okay. one you guys I made an apron the entire apron ruffles and everything out of fabric tack it's my one of my fourth of July aprons turned out really really cool um, okay we're gonna let that dry let's move up and we'll start here okay Okay, we're gonna put a blue. You know what, maybe we should go skinny. Maybe we should. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we should go skinny. Skinny as in just not too much bigger than, than what we've got going on here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stack the things on top of each other. Okay. Okay, I do have um, some of the trim also that we've used in a couple of the places in the journal and you know my thing now is use it or lose it no use it use it use it use it use it use it okay there's that then over here i have some of the little ephemera items and i want to add those too So there's a clock. Mm, I like it. And we'll go with, oh, you know what? Let's put this and let's put, we have a calendar over here. Except for this is, this should all be fabric right here, you guys. Sorry. Because this is the part that we'll get tied up. This, not so much. Okay. 
Okay, so what can we put there? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a small piece of the blue and white fabric. So basically, kind of patchworking it together, thinking that if I yeah, I think we might want to okay, anyway, we'll keep we'll keep going here. Let's go with the skinny one. piece of the blue lace and we can go ahead and and ruffle it wrinkle and crinkle we can do that Just keep doing this and I am going to go ahead and fast forward while we at least get the base put down on top of our Comfort Bay base. Okay, so I did get the base all done. Now I'm adding pieces in. So I'm adding my little pieces of embellishments from, from what was left up here in the little stash. And so I've got, got glue on my fingers. So I have a variety of, so I'm going to put these, I used one of these, I used one of these, I used one of these. I'm not going to do them in the same exact order, but I might want to add them in. Okay, then I have, I do have some words too. We said, or we had darling on another thing. And, oh, we've got this piece. This was from cutting the little notch out of, let's put that right there. Okay, do we have another calendar page? Oh gosh, glue, 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 glue. Okay, we've got a little yellow flower. Might be kind of cute with the red flower. It's from one of the desk calendars. Mm, don't like that. Okay. Oh, here we go. Put it so it's underneath, underneath that lace. Okay. That gives us a good start. Now let's come over and do this side. Okay. I have a couple of these. These were from the note paper. Got a, a red clock. Another note paper. Put it down here. Green flower. These are the clocks cut.
couple flowers. Red flower. And this is the flower cut from the the garden veggies. Digital. Okay. Now let's see. So that's going to be the back. This will be the front. This is oh hello. Little red flower. under a, a lace like that. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Okay, there's that. Is a strength, so they're gonna drive me crazy though. Got some scissors, put them away before we accidentally use them. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit, and I'm gonna put this under here, okay? So it'll be underneath this red flower, we'll have a yellow flower, and we have one more of the red flowers. Lovely. Okay. And now let's look in here. See if we've got any. Got a red. The greens are my favorite. <laughs> Which ones are your favorite? I love the green. That's why there's like hardly any here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so remember it needs to be at least 14 inches long. It needs to be, um, the base of it needs to be junk. And junk being something that most people would throw away or get rid of, okay? So, okay, so over here, we have a little bit of space. We can put another word, beautiful. Oh, we've got, we've got the blue checker. I don't see any place that we really need that. Oh, look at this. I waited too long. This would be really cool in here. Remember, this is what I use to, to do the shutters. the little the little houses I think these are really fun are you a fan of the snippets or not a fan of the snippets we are snippeting snippet 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 okay oh those aren't clap those aren't clocks oh there's a green clock Woohoo! green clock 
what we've got going on here. I think we're pretty good. We'll save the green clock. We might need it. Okay. But there is my snippet roll. Now I want to add some more of the little red to it because we already added some. We did four. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We'll go with there and then cut one here. So have you figured out what you're going to be doing for the, for the challenge this month? Have you found your journals that maybe need to be finished? Um, I know several people didn't have any journals that needed to be finished and that is fine. And congratulations on that. Heck, I've got five and a thing right there, five. So yeah, okay. So that's my snippet. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry a little bit more. And then I'm gonna try running it through the sewing machine. And, um, but the one other thing is I think I need longer pieces on the end um, to be able to do like a bow. Now I could go ahead and, okay, so how big is my, my journal is packed in the kitchen. Okay, I could do a double wrap and then tie. I know, I should have thought of this, right? Should have thought. It happens. I think of the big ideas, big ideas that. Okay. Okay, let me find that other piece of the shirt because remember we still had that one back piece this okay yeah I think I'm gonna be able to use <laughs> use some of this for 4th of July holy mackerel but that's okay of course we haven't finished two of the journals that were that were made with this. But I do wanna make sure you know that I did finish all of the elements. I just didn't get those extra things done on those journals. And um, I believe they were both because, <laughs> because I just moved on to the collaboration stuff. So, so one of the things that I could do is I could go ahead, figure out how long I need to go around it, the journal, okay, to go around it. And then I could cut it and add, that's the really cool thing about a snippet roll is um, you can cut it, okay? We're almost ready to where I can go ahead and try and stitch it, okay? So I have two pieces here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this and we will have our snippet roll ready. Okay, so here it is. Okay, and it's got three rows of stitching. I didn't do a whole lot of back and forth and stuff because of the glue. I just didn't want to make the um, make the thread mad, make the sewing machine mad. Okay, it's got a really long stray string here. I'm getting it, Granny. I'm getting it. Okay. Okay. So there is my snippet, okay? There's my snippet. And it's gonna go in this direction. So this is the front and I'm gonna have it come around. I wonder if I, so anyway, let me go get the book, get the journal. Let's see what we can do with that here. Okay, so I have the journal. It is my June 
journal. Remember I had tied it with that comfort bay. And um, so I'm thinking, wonder, Can we do two? You guys, we can we can do two. We can go around it twice, but I don't think that's not practical. <laughs> that's not practical. Okay. The other thing is is we've got some cute little girls on the back here that we don't want to go across the top of, over their faces, right? So if we come across the top, oh, I like it across the top of them. And here, it can go across the bottom. I'm gonna actually go ahead and I am going to glue this down. And, but I'm gonna add our extra long strings that we just made. be able to come under here and add this on right like this we'll just um, we'll just put it on here we'll let this hang down a little maybe or like that. It's, all, it's all a process y'all it's all a process okay okay so go there and we've got to figure out our back piece though. Okay, so we're gonna come right up to blue with red flower on it. Blue with red flower on it. We're committed. And then, okay. So we need to add our strings onto these. I'm gonna go ahead and look right at that, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a box right there. So I'm gonna be sewing a box on this piece. Okay, so doing another box. I really like this. I like it a lot. So you notice that there's no mini challenge in the challenge today. Um, we will have it tomorrow. Uh, it didn't fit with what we were doing for the um, 14 inch. So mini challenge in the challenge will be this will be Saturday. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't fit. Sometimes I forget that this it just didn't, didn't fit. We want to do the countdown, um, you know, so 14. <laughs> there you go. So how many will be participating in Christmas in July? I do want you to know that I will be doing stuff that is going to be color generic. Like, I mean, it isn't, I shouldn't say color generic. It's gonna be um, Christmas green and red colors, okay? I am gonna do that this time, but, and I'm gonna show you um, digital kits each day, the Christmas digital kits from the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. So you'll get a chance to see those. Um, the, Chris, the Christmas kits will be on sale for that. The Christmas kits, the Christmas digital kits are all going to be on sale during Christmas in July. So if you wanted to save for that. Okay, so there it says, oh, hello. I love it. You guys, this was a really um, great addition here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to commit and, oh, you know what? I want to, I want to make sure that I'm going at the angle to get above for the girls on the back. Okay. 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 So uh, there we go. I'm going to go with this, this angle here. Okay. So I'm going to come in from this, drop across, and I am gluing it to the front. That's just an easier way 
of managing it. This is way more than what I usually put on the front of a journal. Okay, I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's come over here. Our tassel also was made with junk. And we're gonna go, this was a pocket. It's a pocket no more, sorry. It's a pocket no more. It's two little pockets if you want to. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. It must dry, must dry. Okay, so that's our back with the snippet. This is our front with the snippet. We're letting it dry and then the two shall meet like this. If you think you need to put an eyelet or something in there, I still have a couple of metals that I can use. So I'm gonna kind of watch that, see if I need to, but we weren't dry. <laughs> we need to let it dry before we go moving it around. Okay, so that is my snippet added there. And that gives me a snippet pieces that I can add inside. Let's see where we could use a snippet. You know, we never did add anything right inside the journal. Kind of, oh, that's, that would be cute. I think we're gonna go with that. And I have an idea for that. You know what, let's go ahead and I'm not gonna make it a pocket or anything, but you see, it's all sewn on here and I can just go ahead and grab it. It would make a really great belly band. Oh, I love it, I love it, okay. So if you wanna see the flip through for this journal, it is at the end of this video and also, um, the, the journal is in the Etsy shop while it lasts. I don't, I think it's still, I think it's still there. So you can go check that out and it would love a, a new good home. Okay. So I'm going to go with, what if we cut that and added this on the edge of here? Okay. So snippets as an edge is great. Snippets on the edge, snippets on the bottom. Snippets could be a belly band. And let's see. I think we'll make it a belly band right there. And you can just keep going and going and going. If you have some ugly ribbon that you aren't sure what to do with, go ahead and snip it. <laughs> Use it as the background. For the April um, challenge, we did book pages. We made um, our snippet was out of book pages. But this time, how cool we did a ribbon. So I have I have this little page, will it fit? Nope, it won't fit in there. But I have this little page, it's got two little pockets in it that still needs, still needs a home. And I will find something to go in this pocket, but the main thing was to have, to, to have our snippet and use our snippet up. And so there we go, just add that and we have our snippet closure and we have a finished journal. So totally finished journal now. Yay. Done. Done. There you go. I love the 
the tassel on that one. We have a flip through of another journal for you as well. I have the flip through. This is my first finished journal for July. So this was my, what did we figure? This was my April all about that base journal. And um, it was done, but it needed the extra things. I did make all the elements that were all the required stuff, but I ended up, I needed some more things. So uh, remember, this is the one that had the placemat and the fabric over the placemat, the beautiful piece of lace from the rescued wedding dress and the little card that says to my darling mother. So that's what I named the journal to my darling mother. We made this little card out of fabric and other, other fun stuff. It just has a lace closure and this is held on here with a bulb pin okay and we open it up and we have inside this large tag this was from our all about the base there is a place here that you can add some journaling or um, something if you like we have the flip up here with the little card inside remember we are using um, paper pads all in all the challenges so you'll see pieces from the paper pad throughout um, I did back the placemat with this uh, cardstock here from the paper pad also we have some fabric and some of this um, <laughs> the scrapbook paper here remember these were from the all about that base junk journal challenge so we made several of each of the items. We'll have them to be able to use in other things, um, but you're going to see them all the way throughout. And so they were bases made out of book paper, and then we added other items to the to, on top of them, collaging them, and giving us things, even this little uh, flip up. Actually, it's a flip down. So this piece here ended up making these two corner tucks. That flips down, flips back in here, and closes, and it's all collaged on the front. And then we have a little card with a sticker there. Some of the fabric used here, so I used a couple different fabrics in this. There's lace. We have this large pocket that has items in it, including one of our shapeshifter tags on the Grove paper. And then this is from the master board, one of the master boards that we did, and put that on a file folder gave us a place to hold that. You've got area that you can um, journal and you have a little journaling card here. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's just held together with this, some of our binding string. Again, all collaged, added with lace and one of our seed packet pieces of fabric there. I'll just go ahead and close that up. And that fits right into here. This right here is from the cover of the journal. And we have a little journaling card in there and use the lace to help um, acknowledge that it's there. So you can go ahead and pop that up. Okay. So that is our large pocket file folder. Um, if you are doing the July Just Junk Journal Challenge, there is an example of a file folder. Okay. And you can use... Um, any junk, so packaging, cardboard, any junk to make your, your file folders. Here we have oh, the telegram, and it didn't get distressed, so I'm going to distress it really quick. I put those in during the Patreon uh, Q&A. So we did a Q&A craft with me, and I went ahead and I finished. Um, I made... I used items from the emerald ephemera kit from the patreon and so like the quarter thing that was in this telegram was in those were in the may kit added this little thing here this was some wallpaper i did stenciling throughout using a mandala um really cute little stencil this is from the cover and we have our Belly band with some items added onto it on scrapbook paper. Ledger paper, one of my favorite things to use. We have the um, envelope side of a double tuck, and we have a journaling card, and then a double pocket here that has journaling spaces inside. This is from the Mother's R Digital Kit. And some more stenciling. This is from the Rub-Ons from Dollar Tree graph paper. I love to put graph paper in my journals. We have a large tag. It's been Mod Podge. It's got napkin on it. And then we have a flip up pocket here 
with some cards inside and it does have a place for some journaling there. We have our fabric tab here. This is from the quilt book. We have a doily. This is one of the flip up flip downs. So I added that there and that just goes ahead and closes it there. Then we have a pocket with or a journaling card with a lace belly band and the ruffle, the ready ruffle down here is stopping that from falling through. And so cute little journaling card there. And you can also have something inside there. And then over on this side, we have the business card that is onion skin dyed. Remember when we did those for January Just Junk Journal Challenge? And then, so when you open this up, there is a little side pocket here. And those are just right there in the little side pocket. Okay. Just right there. And this just goes right in there. Okay. So that needs, does need to go in a little further. Okay. And here we have an edge from the placemat. We have a large pocket here. Here we have a note card and um, a piece from the cover. Here we added a pocket. This was the leftover fabric from the sepia spring, the little mini, digit, uh, mini journal. And I took one of the border tucks and I made a journaling card there. Our coffee dyed paper here is the sunflower um, paper. Pretty cool, huh? And we have a little playing card here, this little cluster. Some more stenciling, added one of the rub-ons there. Here's some ready ruffle. We have stenciling on this page. You could write right over the top of it. And some more stenciling. Another belly band. This time it's a build a belly band. This is from a magazine. This is from the scrapbook paper. We've got one of the telegrams. And we have the um, double tag made out of wallpaper. It's got some items inside there. And this just tucks right down in our belly band. Okay. We've um, distressed a lot of the white out of the pages. Here is the center of, no, this is not, that's the fake center. <laughs> uh, it's, um, we added a page to a page here somehow. I don't, I remember doing it, but I don't remember how it got, how it got added. Anyway, um, a large tag and then more of the cover. And with this journal, aside from some words, um, I believe we've used this whole, this whole scrapbook pad. Okay, we've got a flip up, flip down here, and right here we've got a trifold from out of the paper pad, and that fits in there. And then down here we have another little place to add something. So, and then a piece of fabric across there. I love that. I think that turned out really fun. Here we have another belly band, and behind it we have a shape shifter with the Grove paper on back. Um, I love this. Love. I love it. I love the way this turned out. So um, here we have a little charm. These charms that are in this journal were my mom's. And so uh, you'll see them. There's a couple of them. There's one here and there's one here. And then over here we have um, a couple pockets and we have added some of the all about that base. Bases there for journaling cards. Here we have a fabric flip, a little mini fabric flip with some note papers behind it and some of the stenciling. We have our Thomas Kincaid paper. Here's the center of the signature. I added the 2021 table scatter and one of the little peach roses. We have the DD stamp up here with a little heart. Added a belly band here. We have a wallpaper tag and we have um, this cute little paper from the, from the scrapbook paper. So those go in there like that. Then we have another large pocket. And this time we have another large file card. It's got two of the little tags. It has a big, it has an envelope. So place to put stuff, turn it over, and you've got your large file card with a sticker on it. And we did um, put one of the rub-ons onto some fabric right there. So that was kind of cool to find out that you could do that. Okay, and we have M for mom. And I like this side sticking out better than the other side. So I like the fabric. Okay. Here we have another journaling page with the mandala, another place to write. Here we have a paper clip holding down two notes. And I staggered them a little bit just so that it would give us 
more color on the page. The other side of our paper clip is holding this little um, envelope and we've got a card in there and the little tiny tag and the other beautiful playing card. Here we have a flip up pocket with a couple of ephemera pieces and this just goes right around this little circular lace piece and holds it in there. We've also got a little this inside of a little pocket over here. This flips up and it's an original flip-flop. So there you go. Actually, the flip-flop is attached to the flip-flop flap. So it actually moves. It's a fl an original flip-flop. Ledger paper and then some of the coffee dyed. This was the middle of the giant plastic doily. So there's that. <laughs> We have a journaling card here and a large tag with a fun little embellishment on it here in our large pocket. And we also have more of the scrapbook paper, a large tag there. We have a little tab made out of the placemat because why not? We have this cute little um, paper clip. That was the one that we put in here for as the paper clip element. And that is more of the cover of the paper pad. Here we have a lace pocket and we have this just little piece here. We have this one here that is on a business card. And then a shape shifter. And all that in those two little pockets. Also attached this bead right onto the paper right there. Some more graph paper that's been stenciled. We had it added an edge here. We added a tuck here, and the this goes in this tuck, okay? And, and then this goes, there's a uh, piece of fabric on the back here, and this little piece of the map paper goes in there. And this goes in there this way. And that gives us this flappy look here. We have a Mod Podge guest check on an envelope, so you can put something in there. I added this fabric here so that this wouldn't stick, and it, so far it worked. Another shape shifter with the little ready ruffle and some lace on top. Remember, that's the Grove paper on the back. Here's a ready ruffle diagonal belly band, and another one of Mom's charms right there. We have some more ledger, some more coffee dyed paper, the other side of that really pretty um, scrapbook paper. This is the music, Daisy Dale, the other side of it. Here's another little um, 2021 and bow pin with a charm on it, or a bead. And we have a little pocket here and it has this cute little piece of coffee dyed paper, just fits right down in there. We added this little embellishment on the top. And then down here, there is a fabric pocket and we've just added one of the little tags down there. We have a um, tab here, another one of the images from the Mothers Are Digital Kit. And then we have, so this is a card and it is one of the flip cards. So it's got a pocket here on the front with a little silly fun thing. We got a rub on here fabric and words and you turn it over to this side and we have a little pocket and inside the pocket we have an envelope from the digital kit and it has images from the scrapbook paper in there okay so that folds up just like that and it goes inside here so there's some fabric and one of the images from the mothers are digital kit says hidden treasures there's some map on there and it also opens up so that you can journal inside now what you can do is go ahead and flip this in here so that you can see the pretty piece we have another large tag from the scrapbook paper the business card with the cute little image on it here making a little pocket for this to be tucked into this is from the master board part of this kit. And um, I have some of the crossword puzzle, some receipts, some uh, coffee dyed parchment paper, and some journal paper up there. 
and then you open it up and we've got a paint chip here um, and that just fits right inside there and we made a top tuck out of this out of one of the plates here and a little pocket we added over here and that's got that this opens up and all of that is part of the border tuck and this is the very back of the journal so that is my to my darling mother junk journal again it was made during the april all about that base junk journal challenge so you see several of those throughout um, it was i used the mothers are digital kit so you saw several of those imaged images used throughout but i think it's a beautiful journal that you could use all the time and this beautiful journal is available now in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. So check it out. Find something to celebrate every day. Make sure you go watch one of these videos. The flip through for this journal is at the end of the video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.